Dave Stevens, and I'm joined, as usual, by Mike Steele. Dave, I won't lie, I didn't do a lot of research this week. Manning's Tavern has been running great wing specials. I'm gonna lean on your expertise and apologize to the fans. I may need to take a few breaks in the action. You know, I couldn't agree more, Mike. Well, let's play some football. Dodgers the defender. Tackled after a return of 28. Setting up shop from the 44 yard line. The quarterback drops back, fakes the handoff. Incomplete. Second down. <laughs> Handing it off to number 33. That gets us to third down. He makes the handoff. That will move the chains. Another first down, Dave. I tell you, this sets up the play action so well. Number four steps back into the pocket. Forced out of bounds. Dropping back. The QB will be sacked in the back at the 40. Let's see what the call is on third down. <laughs> Scrambling. That brings up fourth down. Out comes the field goal unit. The kick is up. Just barely missed it. He hands it off. Second play of the drive. Number seven, handing it off. The tight end lines up on the right side. Tonight. Tackled quickly. That brings up fourth down. That brings us to the end of the first quarter. Still 0-0. Zero, zero. The offense lines up to punt this one away. Green punts it away. The return man takes the punt. And he crosses the goal line for a touchdown. One of the biggest momentum swings and confidence builders happens when teams score on special teams. Great punt return there. Hill makes the kick. It's good. The away team goes out in front today. Seven, nothing. What more can you ask for, Dave? You talk about this all week, going out and drawing first blood. Put that TD on the board. Gilbert takes the kick. The runner breaks out of the tackle. The home team has a great opportunity to get back out in front of this ball game on this drive. Number seven drops back. Steven brings him down in the backfield. Loss of seven, second down. He hands it to number 27. That will bring up third down. Third and long. 
The QB, back to pass. He sets up and throws way down the field. And they can't connect. Incomplete. Three punts it away. Number 13 takes the punt. Forced out of bounds at the 49-yard line. The away team can make this a two-score game with a nice drive and finish here. Let's see if they can execute. The QB looking to pass. Number 11 makes the catch. Number 33 takes the ball. Third down. Third play of the drive. Third and short. Being able to move the ball in the running game, especially, especially when you can pick up a first down, gives you so many options in terms on play calling. Go! Number four drops back, throws the ball, and he's forced out up near the 36, second down. Fifth play of the drive for the away team. Sit up. Finds a target short near the sideline. Forced out of bounds, up at the 12. Good enough for a first down. With that first down, the QB gets a bit more comfortable, which really helps his confidence going forward. Quarterback back to pass. Sets his feet and throws out to the side. He steps in for six. That was a great short strike into the end zone for the touchdown. Here's the kick. It's good. The away team adds to their score. 14 nothing. They just keep pouring it on, Dave. But that's the competitiveness of this league. You can't let off the throttle. Hill kicks it away. Gilbert catches the kickoff. And he's brought down after a return of 17. It needs to be go time for the offense. They need to stop messing around. Tighten up your chin strap and get ready go. to drive the ball down the field. He flings a pass. He safely steps out of bounds up at the 28-yard line. Second down. He hands it off. Good enough for a first down. Blocking can be one of the more overlooked aspects of running, but their impact on that first down run was pretty evident. He drops back, tosses a pass across the first down line, and it's off. The pass is caught by number 27, third down. A crucial third down for the offense. He makes the handoff. Stopped before he could break loose. The away team will call timeout. Let's see how the penalty affects things. The home team is going to go with the results of the play instead of the penalty. The offense was expecting heavy pass coverage over the top and wisely ran the ball to pick up a few yards. And the punt goes into the end zone for a touchback. The offense needs to just play it safe here and focus on keeping the ball in their possession as long as possible. Finds a target. The pass is intercepted. 
A flag on the play. He scored! Let's see how the penalty affects things. The home team will decline the penalty. Totally prepared, Dave. The coach told me you can't pull this guy off the practice field, and those Thanks. are the results he expects. It's good! The home team recovered some ground with that score. 14, seven. Barn burner today, Dave. Only one score separates the teams. All it takes is one mistake to determine the outcome of this one. Taken at the 13-yard line. The away team can make this a two-score game with a nice drive and finish here. Let's see if they can execute. Set Hunter back to pass. He sets up and throws past the first down. The away team takes their third timeout. That will bring up first down. As good as advertised, Dave. We expected to see some great offense today, and it's coming around. He can't bring it in. He tosses a screen along the sideline. And he safely steps out at the 43. The QB under center. Number four hands it off. Tackled near the line, up near the 46 yard line. And that brings us to the end of the second quarter. The away team out in front, 14-7. The kick is off. The kick is caught at the six yard line. And he steps in for six. Touchdown. Let's go down to our own Emma Adams who has an update for us. Thanks Dave. I had a chance to discuss the first half with the coach for the home team. He said he expected today's matchup to be a difficult one and that the score in the first half reflects that. He continued by mentioning that the guys are going to have to gut check themselves and dig deep if they're going to pull this one out. Back to you guys. Emma, thank you. The kick's away. Fielded at the 12. Makes the return up to the 34. The away team will begin the drive from the 35-yard line. Go! The quarterback with the handoff. That'll give them a fresh set of downs. Hike! Number four hands it off. Stopped before he could break loose by Quinn. Uh -huh. Number four, dropping back. And they can't connect incomplete. Sometimes you have to have that gunslinger mentality and take a shot to keep the defense on their toes. It didn't work out that time, but it will still let the D know that this QB isn't afraid to test them deep. The home team looking to get things going from the 39. He makes the handoff. Stopped before he could break loose. By number 27, that brings up second down. The QB hands it off. Third down. Tonight. The handoff is taken by number 27. That'll give them a fresh set of downs. Another first down, Dave. 
I tell you, this sets up the play action so well. A penalty flag on the field. The away team accepts the penalty. False starts are one of those mental mistakes that really makes getting the first down a lot harder. Second down. That'll wrap things up for the third quarter. We're all knotted up at 14, 14. Second down for the offense. He tosses one out to the sideline. He can't make the catch. He can't make the catch. The QB took a deep shot there for the first down, but the defense had it covered the whole way. Green punts it away. And the punt sails out of bounds at the five yard line. The away team will begin the drive from the five yard line. He tosses it to the runner. Second down. The away team with the play action. Brought down in the backfield for a sack by number 66. That gets us to third down. To number four. Back to pass. Incomplete pass. The punt team makes its way up to the line. The punt's away. Taken at the 43. Tackled after a return of seven. He drops back. It's all. <laughs> Number twenty seven takes the handoff. That brings up third down. Third play of the drive for the home team. He drops back, tosses the ball past the first down marker, incomplete. When it's third and long, sometimes you've got to throw it downfield even when you know that's exactly what the defense is expecting. It just didn't work out for them at that time. He punts it away. The punt will sail out of bounds. Number four drops back. He makes the throw. Brought down up at the 40-yard line. That'll bring up a fresh set of downs. That's the kind of talent this team has, Dave. Moving the ball at will against a defense that isn't full of slouches. Brings up second down. Second and short. The QB handing it off. And he's tackled up near the line. Back near the 46 yard line. Third down. We've got an injured player down on the field. He hands it to number 49. 
First down. Let's see what they do on first down. Hike. The away team with the play action. He tucks it and runs. That'll give them a fresh set of downs. First down. Then hike. Tosses a pass off to the sideline. Good enough for a first down. If they keep doing this, the kicker's going to have a much easier job today. Extra points only, perhaps. Go! The QB makes the pitch. Second down. Second down. Go! The away team takes their first time up. That brings up a crucial third down. There's the kick. And it's good. The away team will pull ahead with the score 17 14. Great teams are able to come through in clutch moments. I'm excited to see how this one finishes up. Gilbert catches the kickoff. And he's brought down after a return of 18. It's a one-score game, Dave. You have to feel good about your chances here if you're the offense. Let's see how they execute. Tonight. Tosses a pass. He's tackled by Morrison. That brings up second down. It's that time again to select the Mike Steele stud of the game. Mike. Who do you have for us today? The receiver for the away team answered the challenge today. He's my stud of the game. He could have easily came up short today, but he definitely lived up to the billing. 